Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. We're going to keep going on production in Business Central. Uh, we're up to, I think, 10 videos, so I think you can do this endlessly, but uh, we're kind of just going logically through the steps. Uh, it's a pretty important topic, and, uh, and it's uh, hard to just blow over it uh, in one video. But anyways, uh, we had created the standard coffee bean right here, or coffee beans. And uh, if I look at that, we basically set up a uh, costing method standard and for each pound it's three dollars right so if i actually go out of here and i adjust the inventory using this new feature of business central um it brings up a window let me see there we go and let's say i want to bring this up to two thousand pounds so it posts automatically in the background, uh, brings it up to 2000, you know, a standard NAV or a BC user would be like, hey, what about the journals? But this is, uh, this is kind of a quick feature, so <laughs> you can skip the journal in this one. So actually, if I get in here and I look into the entries, I can see that there is a positive adjustment that was made. Um, and it basically brings the uh, the balance up to 2000 uh, so yeah here's this one here for 520 and it costed it at three dollars each so it didn't matter what the last direct cost was it didn't matter what you bought it for last time uh, the costing of it when you do an adjustment is always three dollars because standard costs three dollars three dollars everywhere so it kind of simplifies things obviously when you buy it at a different price than the standard cost that gets a little bit complicated but as you're increasing uh quantities and decreasing quantities in your warehouse you know losing things finding things uh, that's all just three dollars easy so let's go ahead and see how this affects the uh, uh production order so we're going to release production orders again I'm just going to create a new one here and uh, we're going to go through the same process as we've done many times in these videos so standard coffee uh, let me see standard ground coffee right here and I'm going to do it for a thousand pounds so we're making a thousand pounds uh, and I just refresh it hit OK and now we got the production order. And so if I actually go into line production journal, actually first let me go into <coughs> navigate statistics. Here we can see the cost. So now it's not just zeros like in the beginning of the videos where we're just running around with quantities and we didn't really care what the cost. Cost is of course huge. Um, so now we have cost. And the expected cost is 3,300. The capacity cost, and that's for material, the capacity cost is 1,000. So we have that in here. And total is 4,300. And the capacity cost is made out of 1,000 minutes, right? So we're estimating it takes 1,000 minutes to do this, and it's a dollar a minute, $60 an hour. It takes to run this machine with the person, whatever it is. All right, so let's close this out and actually post something. We go into the line, go into the production journal. And this is kind of a handy screen to post both consumption and output at the same place. And let's say we ran for one day and we got 500 pounds. We used 500 pounds. Uh, we ran for one day, which was 480 minutes. And we were able to output uh, 450 pounds. So we're going to be a little less. There's, there's a scrap factory there, obviously. Uh, so we go ahead and post. Post this. Oh, you see that it's successfully posted. If I just get out of this uh, and let me see, go home and into statistics. Now we can see that we have actual costs. 
So I have now that we've used 1500, uh, $480 in the capacity. Total is 1980. We used 480 minutes. Deviation is this, etc. So once we actually finish this, we'll see how off we are on these. And, uh, and you can make a deduction of whether you're estimating your cost correctly or not. But the, the interesting part about this is that the material cost is all costed according to standard cost. So you already fixed the cost for all the materials. And now it's just a matter of how much of each you used, whether the actual is going to be different from standard. Um, so and we can get more into detail in further videos on that. Um, but I hope you got something out of this. Uh, so we posted actual capacity. Uh, and now we have capacity costed uh, and standard cost in the production order. So thumbs up if you got something out of this. And uh, until next time, thank you.